morning. We spent our first night at a rest area here at the border of Wisconsin and Minnesota. Um, if you want to do some boondocking, camping for free, uh, you need to check out the legalities for each individual state that you might stay in. We stopped in Wisconsin because on their, their version of MDOT, they mentioned that there's no extended stay parking and then they go on to say anything extended stay is over 24 hours. So if you're a camper, you can spend the night as long as it's less than 24 hours. Minnesota is different. They will only allow commercial truckers to stay 24 hours, whereas um, passenger cars, whatever you want to call it, can stay a maximum of four hours. So there's legality in that. So if you were to stay in Minnesota, there's a high chance that someone would knock on your camper door, be very rude to you, and slap you with a fine. That has happened to other campers. So make sure you know what state you're in. Look up the legalities of it. And some of the pros and cons. Well, I know in the night, we could hear other trucks running, which is perfectly fine. We can do that. And around, hey, babe, what time was it? that you heard the, all the music and hollering. It's about 2 a.m. Yeah, about 2 a.m. Sorry, bad. Some partiers coming through, but it's public. It's going to do that. So if you're a light sleeper, it might not be ideal, but Sayla and I slept through it. And then, Seth, you had some tips? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> your connection on your trailer, I found out that when you're driving, in some cases like ours, your truck alternator is actually charging your battery. And I also found out that if you say you stop overnight at a place, if you leave your truck plugged into your trailer and you're running a lot, um, if you're running a lot of stuff in your trailer and it drains your battery in your trailer too much, it can actually drain your battery in your truck too. So your truck won't start in the morning. So make sure if you stop overnight, it's probably a good idea you unplug your truck from your trailer, your connection between the two so that if anything gets ran down, it doesn't take your, uh, your ability to start your automobile up away. Yeah. All right. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, I think that's about all the tips we have. But again, we're in uh, Wisconsin. I can't remember the name of where we are. I think my weather app says we're in Sparta. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll keep you posted. That's our little tip for staying overnight in the rest area. God bless you guys. Have a good one. See ya. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell.